God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. The journey that I had and everything that I had to go through, it, it's, it, it'd have been easy for me to, you know, hang my head and like give basketball up. But ever since I was little, I've never been like weak-minded. You know, I've always been determined. And that just comes from the household that I grew up. My mom, she's a Christian, so she explained to me time in and time out that everything happens for a reason. And once I realized that, that's when, uh, that's when I, I think I was able to grow, not only as a player, but as a human being. But when I first got here, we had a, a pretty good team. Um, a young Jalen Adams, Marcus Posley, Deion Wright. And I was supposed to be a, another piece of that team. And even without me playing, I think that team should have still went to the NCAA tournament. You know, we got snubbed that year. I had to make that transition from JUCO to Division One, and I seen how the game was like really played and how much uh, of a faster pace it was. I think me looking from the outside in, it really helped me, you know, it helped develop my game for when I was able to get out there and play. Aside from the win against UCLA, I'd probably have to say the win in Syracuse. And I think that that win was really big for us and not only for, for the guys on the team, but all the alum that have come through here, you know, everybody that supports us, um, all the boosters, you know, guys like that. I think that that win was really big and helped the program a lot. Getting the victory versus Rhode Island, getting a win against the right team is always something special. So I think that was the best, best memory I have in the Riley Center. Us in Rhode Island, we kind of had a, a little rivalry going, you know. Um, I think they were ranked like 16th in the nation at that time. And, um, you know, when you're playing against the ranked team, it's always, you know, you always up your level of play a little bit more. Playing in O'Reilly is like no other. The, the fans, it's, it's, it's a crazy environment. I mean, the gym looks small, but once it's packed out and it gets loud and you get the crowd involved, it's, it's, it's probably one of the hardest places to play if you have to come in here. Right now, um, I'm still looking to sign with the agent. I think I still, I, I got it down to like two or three guys that I'm thinking about. But after I sign the agent, I'm just, you know, looking to get into a good situation, you know, where I can make as much money as possible and um, still have fun playing the game. It's, it's prepared me a lot, you know, um, especially with having a, co a coach like um, Schmidt. He's a bit of a basketball genius. Once you get to this level, it's important to be prepared. And I think he's done a good job with this team and, and the teams that I've seen in the past. Having that preparation and taking taking my game to the next level, that, that's been a big part of it. As far as the young guys, I can't even explain how proud of them I, that I am. They showed a lot of, you know, perseverance, um, a lot of resiliency. The whole year they, um, they fought back. They picked me up when I was down and I tried to do the same for them. So proud of them is an understatement. This, uh, this group of freshmen is probably some of the hardest working guys I've, uh, you know, I've been around. Um, Sean, he's, uh, he's a big piece. Kyle, you know, Dom. Alpha, once he gets around, he'll be a big piece to this program. Um, and I think the sky's the limit for those guys, especially with um, them getting their feet wet this year and seeing what the conference is all about and seeing how college basketball is really played. These next few years are gonna be um, something special for them. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody for the, the unconditional love and, and the nonstop support. When I was down the first two years, like I said, it could have been, it would have been easy for me to, you know, just hang basketball up and move on with my life. But, you know, that fan support, it really helped me. Um, family support, support from my friends. Um, like I said, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I appreciate it.